So propagators. First of all, you may not know what is a propagator. So in gardening, um, it's all about controlling the environment around the plant you're trying to grow, uh, be it seedlings or cuttings. And by adding things as simple as a, a clear lid to a seed tray, you're going to increase the temperature and maintain a humidity around the, the growing plant. Just gives them a more of a fighting chance. Um, and just by doing that can make a huge difference and then to make an even, even more of a difference and um, make so you can grow a wider range of plants if you have a heated propagator so electrically heated propagator where you can set the temperature that you'll have at the bottom of the tray you you've then got an an even temperature for the whole time it's not going to fluctuate like it will in, in the, um, the one that isn't electrical powered. So then you can start growing seeds that need higher temperatures to germinate. In Patrick's patch, it means in the vegetable garden here, we can, if we have electric propagators, we can grow um, vegetables that require these higher temperatures. And that's going to be things like chilies, tomatoes, aubergines, melons. And it means you can sow these uh, these vegetables nice and early so for chilies it's even as early as February tomatoes be sowing them in March and the earlier you can sow them the earlier they're going to come into fruit in the vegetable garden and then you're going to get a longer cropping season from them if you can get them going early now if you haven't got a propagator I'd normally say to people well, you can buy your tomatoes that have been grown in the nursery but the nice thing about being able to grow your own is you can, use, you can grow the more interesting varieties. You can get different coloured tomatoes, the more heritage varieties. So it just, it just makes it more fun. Then it's not just about seeds. Um, you can also do cuttings in your propagator, which you could then share with friends. So they could be um, in the summertime, semi-ripe cuttings of penstemons and salvias and you could certainly do house plant cuttings if you really like these so you could be doing leaf cuttings from your uh, african violets or streptocarpus so it really does just open up more options